years old uh, when I when I officially started. Um, but you know, my dad brought me in as a world champion, um, so I, I kind of it was kind of natural natural for me to go into karate. Um, so yeah, so it, it, that's where it started. Um, four years old in in Luton. And this is with your dad. And with my dad. Training with your dad. Training, yeah, at grassroots level. And, and, and was it? Having your dad as a world, an ex world champion, was it was it him that you know said to you right come on to karate or was it you that he, he never really said anything to you and it was you that actually thought oh, I'll have it I'll have a go at this or was it was it his influence that got you in? It was it was like I say at a young age um, at four years old it was it was me uh, who wanted to go to karate you know and then it was kind of it was kind of easier for him to bring me to karate. Um, than not, as I used to cry as a little kid, if I didn't go to his lessons, you know, so he ended up using that as a punishment, that I couldn't go to karate, because there's so much that I love, um, so yeah, at four years old, uh, up until whatever age, I kind of made the decision myself, this is my passion, this is what I love, and this is what I want to do. And, I mean, your dad, Willie Thomas, is obviously a world karate legend, uh, multiple world champion, world team champion, multiple European champion, at what age do you realise as, as a kid that your dad is this, this, this uh, exceptional karate athlete? Um, you know what, I kind of like, uh, I kind of always known it in some respects um, as I've already grown up watching his videos. Uh, you know, even, even the conversations that he's, he's had over the phone or even Mervyn Etienne coming in and me even going, going to compete because um, I've always been competing, I can't even remember when I started, probably as soon as I started karate, I was chucked in the deep end. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, I look, there's really Thomas's son, you know, I've always had that pressure, I've always had that So pressure. you're knowing this at an early age? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're hearing Willie Thomas, yeah. there's Willie Thomas. world champion, yeah, yeah. So I, I remember training with Willie, Willie Thomas back in, when I was, when I was 17 and I'm 40 now. And even today, when I cough, I still think I can hear, feel his gags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I, I've joked with him before, he literally punched a hole through my chest. Um, and, and I was training with all of them, and it was, it, it, when I used to train with him, it was easy to see. Like, there was Mervyn, there was Chris Mundell, there was Willie, there was Gus. And it, there was obviously so much quality in the room, and it's easy for that. Like, my, my, I've always believed if you rub shoulders with gold, a little bit comes off. Yeah, yeah. And I, I just imagine you growing up as a four-year-old, year, four year old, you've got Mervyn Etting over there, world champion, you've got your dad over there, world champion, you've got Gus, Gus world Gus, games champion, yeah, and yeah. you've got, you know, and it's, it, it's, it's easy to see that that's, that's where the, the, the inspiration has come from. But as, from having a, a father that's a former world champion, have you felt that there's a pressure on you to achieve? Uh, yeah, there was always been that pressure that I've always thought that I've had on my back. Um, but when you, you know, I started using that as a as a motivation. You know, when I, you know, you always have it. Um, I thought, oh, that's really Thomas's kids, and he had, you know, is he gonna be as good? Is he gonna achieve the same things? You know, I had to stop listening to that, and kind of just be my own person. And you know, I've wanted it for myself and only for myself. He's just my dad just helped me and pointed me in the right direction. He's been guiding me to achieve my dreams. So he's achieved his, he just wanted me to achieve mine. And that's, that's what he did.